everyone and welcome back to my channel it's your girl andrea siobhan aka intuitive mama so today i'm back with another video 10 things you should know about the capricorn woman okay yes 10 things you should know about the capricorn woman so let's just get straight into the video um when i was putting together my notes for this video and everything i was thinking about the capricorn woman and um you know i was thinking of the goat like the zodiac symbol for capricorn is the sea goat so the goat the greatest of all times okay capricorn sisters come through greatest of all times where y'all at okay all right let's get straight into the video okay so number one capricorn women are planners and always think ahead okay the capricorn woman is about her future goals if you know this girl Y'all could have been friends in, like, elementary school, and she had stuff already planned. Like, by the time I go to middle school, this is what I'm going to be doing. By the time I go to high school, I'm going to be doing this when I graduate from college. The Capricorn girl is a planner, okay? She already has a plan. She knows what her goals are. Capricorns have an old soul. So, it's like, meanwhile, while you plan on the swings and hula hooping and stuff, girlfriend is already thinking about her walking across the stage when she get her PhD. A Capricorn woman is thinking... Light years ahead of time, this girl was a planner. As a matter of fact, she if you're a Capricorn woman, you probably got a planner right now, okay? Full of stuff that you're going to do in the future. All right, moving on to number two. Capricorn women are very mature and intelligent. They're very mature at an early age, like I said. Capricorn girl, old soul. Um, I had some Capricorn friends. I remember us being younger, and they just seemed so mature and... They just knew what they wanted out of life. Um, even, like, just doing, like, kid stuff or whatever kind of would, like, annoy them. And I'm like, come on, you know, let's, um, you know, like, play with our Barbies or something like that. And they just looking like, you know, girl, I really, mm, mm you know. I mean, we're kids at this point in time, but Capricorn women are always very mature, um, very smart girls, you know. They know what they want, and they're like little ladies, you know. And even when they get older, like, they're still, like, really mature. Like, they can go out and have a good time, but um, they're usually the voice of reason and stuff. They usually, you know, are the mama of the group. All right, moving on to number three. Capricorn women are really traditional, and they like very subtle gestures. So, um, like I said, Capricorn women, very mature. So, usually, like, the way that they dress and stuff is very classic, very timeless. Um... They don't like a lot of rah-rah stuff, so if you're trying to do something nice for a Capricorn lady, whether you're in a romantic relationship or a friendship, get her something nice, like some small little, like, pearl earrings or, like, a really, like, thin tennis bracelet or, like, a small little trinket box. Like, she likes little subtle gestures like that. Nothing that's really big and, like, you know, over the top. Stuff that's really small and classy because she's a really mature woman and she just likes things to be really subtle, really sweet. Okay. Capricorn women do not like to get embarrassed. Okay? They they don't. So, if you think pulling a prank on your Capricorn lady or friend would be a good idea, I'm here to tell you no. Um, if sis trips while y'all out, please refrain from laughing. Capricorn women do not like to get embarrassed. Um, I've seen this firsthand. A lot, of time, a lot of times it can trigger them to kind of get a little angry, you know, especially if it's like something that happens in like a large crowd of people like they might lash out in anger or they might just retract so much that they might not talk to you anymore or just kind of like fall back or whatever so Capricorn women do not like to get embarrassed okay so Capricorn women they can be loners um um like so you might see them kind of like off to themselves like if you guys work together like they might not join in the lunch conversation or sit at the table with everybody even though they do like making friends um their social skills can be a little different so they might come off as like really shy even though that's most of the time that's not who they are capricorn women are usually a lot of fun to hang out with and stuff but you have to kind of break through that that um that i don't want to say barrier but like that layer so, um, you'll kind of tend to see them kind of roll by themselves or whatever, but it's not that they're not open to making friends, but maybe it's like a comfort thing or whatever. Okay. So, moving on to number six. They need time to open up. 
like I said, like, you gotta get past, like, the first layer with them. Like, it takes time, you know, take time, you know. It's kind of like a trust thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess they want to kind of know, like, who you are, can I trust you? Like I said, Capricorn women are very mature, so they're really about their business. So I guess for you to kind of get that, get to know their fun and playful side, like, they have to know that they can trust you. Like, it's not like we're gonna go out and you're gonna post some stuff on your Instagram page and be turning up and it's a possibility that my boss might see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta make sure you cool, girl. Like, you ain't out here trying to expose me or nothing like that or digging my businesses, you know what I'm saying? Because you see this exterior, this girl in this suit. But for real, though, when I go home, I'm a whole nother sister, okay? I'm a whole nother broad, all right? So, it takes a while for them to open up. Okay, moving on to number seven. Capricorn celebrity women, okay? So, we have Michelle Obama. Betty Wright, Mary J. Blige, and Aaliyah. Okay, let me touch on Aaliyah for a minute. The whole situation with Aaliyah and R. Kelly was crazy, right? I remember hearing about this when I was a younger girl, that um, he married her and she was only 15. The one thing that I remember thinking is, like, when she had came out, like, um, was I close? Yeah, we're close in age. So, even though, like, what happened between them two was absolutely wrong, disgusting, I just remember thinking, like, she's only 15? Like, I didn't realize that she was so young because she carried herself in such a mature way. Like, you know, even, um, Michelle Obama, like, you know what I'm saying? She carried herself in a very mature and classic way. It's something about, um, the Capricorn woman. She has this air about her. Um, Mary J. Blige, okay? That's, Mary J. Blige's been grown, okay? Since been grown. Like, since, um, What's the 411? Is that the name of the first album? She had been grown, okay? It's like, sis has been grown. Um, she's still carrying herself like a lady, beautiful. Betty White. Betty White has always been older lady since Golden Girls. Even though she had that youthful spirit about her. Like, that's what I was saying. With the Capricorn lady, you get this one man very polished in his suit. But she can be fun. She can be crazy. She can be wild, you know? Betty White is definitely a prime example. Um... Brings me to number eight, okay? My stuff is matching right up. Okay, come on, nopes. Come on, nopes. Okay, number eight. She can be a mystery. Like I said, so, Capricorn woman, you know, you see this polished lady. Like, who is this girl? You know what I'm saying? Like, is she really like that all the time? And it's like, no. Like, she could be fun. She could be cool, you know? But I think she she leaves a lot to the imagination, you know? I guess, like, probably when men see her, you know, they probably really want to know, like, what's this girl? What What is this girl about, you know? So, okay, number nine, she's fun, and she has a good sense of humor, and she likes to party. Um, some of my close friends are Capricorn ladies. Um, a lot of people don't know them like I know them. Like, when we go on vacation and stuff, like, definitely my turn-up partner. Definitely. We definitely have a great time together. So, yeah, they definitely are fun, you know. They like to have, like to have a good time, you know. All right, so moving on to number ten, the ruling body parts. Um... Of a Capricorn. Capricorn, the body parts that Capricorns rule. I always get tongue-tied when I come to this part. Come on, get it together. Okay. So the ruling body parts for Capricorn is knees, joints, skeletal system, and teeth. So, um, okay, so when I think about the knees and the joints, okay, bring it Betty White. I don't know how old Betty White is, but... She still got some nice legs, okay? She still got some nice legs. She might, I mean, she ain't, might not be a Tina Turner, but she still got some nice legs. Mary J. Blige, come on now. You know sis still can get down on that stage with that dance, and she be all over, hey, you know them legs? She got some nice long legs, strong legs. Michelle Obama, nice legs. Aaliyah, definitely another amazing dancer, like, to this day. Um, a lot of uh, celebrities, Sierra, um, I can't think of any more, like, dancing, um, singers, but they still use a lot of, um, Aaliyah's dance move incorporation with their, uh, choreography and everything, so I definitely can see that. Um, the teeth, um, I would say the Capricorn ladies that I, um, have came across, celebrities and friends, um, they do have a nice smile. Um, one thing that I do notice is that, um, I, my, my daughter is a Capricorn, and the one thing that I do notice is that the Capricorns that I do know, they do, like, the crunch on stuff. I don't know if that has anything to do with the tea. Like, um, friends, you know, my daughter, like, ice, 
you know, like things is crunchy, like chips, stuff like that. I don't know. So maybe that has something to do with the teeth too, not just the smile or whatever. Strong, you know, skeletal system, them knees, them teeth, okay? So that brings me to the end of my video. I hope you Capricorn ladies enjoyed it. The goats out here, the greatest of all time, sea goats. I guess you can kind of mix it up to a mermaid goat kind of thing going on. But I hope you really enjoyed my video. Um, like I always say, if there's anything that I left out about the Capricorn ladies that um, you would have liked to see in the video, um, comment below. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I know I've been kind of slow on the content, but there's more videos to come. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.